Hey guys, Marty Schwartz here, and I'm going to be teaching you the very first scale that I think you should learn. It's just my own opinion, but basically it's the starting point for playing solos. We're using the blues as the backdrop, but the scale is called the minor pentatonic scale, and it's, you know, it's the core scale for all kinds of rock solos. I mean, it's the scale. I'm showing you this open position E minor pentatonic one because it's great for that beginner 12 bar blues that you're learning or that you may have learned. And uh, two, it uses the open strings, which is a great technique to start getting down. And then uh, three, I don't know, three, why not? Why not three? Uh, three is it's the foundation for improvising and demystifying, you know, really what a guitar solo is, what impro improvisation is as well. So we're going to zoom in. I'm going to, you know, walk you through it nice and slow. Um, be sure to check the links for the beginner blues lessons um, and also a jam track uh, that there will be a link for so you can practice a scale over something because you're really going to get it better. The more you have the context of like a rhythm track or what they call jam tracks, the more you have that to play it over, the, the quicker you're going to get it and the quicker you're going to be doing some, you know, guitar solos. So that's that. Also, real quick, please subscribe to this YouTube channel of mine. I've got lots of great things in store, uh, and I can't wait to share them with you. So please subscribe. Uh, but anyway, let's zoom in and start learning this E minor pentatonic scale. Here we go. All right, and we're back. So I'm going to teach you, you like that? I'm going to teach you the, uh, the first scale that... I think you should learn if you want to play music. And this is a continuation from learning the 12 bar blues in the key of E. So we're now going to learn the scale that you can use to start improvising guitar solos in that same key. So there, uh, check for the link for the jam track so you can practice this over and be sure to look at the blues lessons that led up to this. So this is called the E minor pentatonic scale. I like it because every open string is, is in the scale. So it's great for your just overall musical technique, guitar technique, when you're starting out. And it's, you know, super valuable 
uh, Hendrix, Steve Ray Vaughan, Jimmy Page, everybody, Clapton, they all use this scale. And I think it's a great one to learn first. So in a scale, a scale is just like a pool of notes. It's, it's almost like a family, uh, and each note is like a piece of the DNA, and they, they all fit together. And that same DNA also makes up the chords that are being played. So the chord progression underneath has that same DNA of the scale that the single notes have of the scale that you're soloing with. Now, that may take a little time to digest, that's okay. I'll be here, I'll come back. Um, but this is the scale to do it. So we're gonna start with the open E. So since it's called the E minor pentatonic scale, all the E notes in this scale are the root or the home base. And that's just not a theory term. It literally sounds like home when you hit one of the E notes. That's an E note right there, the second fret of the D string. Obviously the open high E. And the open low open E string. Those all feel like home bass, okay? So first let's just talk about a little technique. This is something that you can start practicing when you're watching a movie or a sports game or whatever. You don't have to necessarily always be focused on it because there's gonna be a certain amount of this is just the muscle memory and repetition. Um, so you, then you can express yourself musically. You've laid the groundwork with the muscle memory, then you can think about the melodies and phrasing and your emotions. But it starts with the open E, and then you, uh, for now, we're gonna use our ring finger on the third fret of the open E. Then we're gonna play the open A string. Then with my middle finger, I'm gonna play the second fret of the A string. So I just climbed up the scale. Now listen to that, there's already songs in there. And there's, these, these aren't the same key, but. You know, I mean, just, I didn't play that right, but it's, uh, or, uh, so it's important. It's a great scale. So open, third fret, open A string, second fret A string, open D string, second fret D string, open G string, and then second fret G string, then open B string, then third fret with the ring finger on the B string, then open high E, then third fret on the high E. So the third frets we're gonna use our ring finger, the second frets we're gonna use our middle finger, Three O. Oh, now this is going down the scale. Three O, oh, three O, oh, two O, oh, two O, oh, two O, oh, three O. Oh. And what I'm going to show you, I've got a little looper pedal here. Let's see what happens. Um, I'm going to play just for a second the. And you can hear how that scale sounds. Now remember, I do have a link for a jam track, you know, just right on YouTube, totally free. Um, and you can practice this scale over it so your ear will hear how the notes are relating to the music underneath it. So check it out. Not that. Oh, man, mistake. Here we go. All right, so here's the scale. Thank you. 
So there's there's stuff to build off of with this. But what I want to leave you with for right now, because you just got to practice the scale a little bit, but I'm going to show you uh, two licks that come from the scale. And then I want to emphasize the point that um, you use the scale and then you learn little phrases, just like when you learn a new vocabulary word and you put it in a sentence uh, with licks and soloing and blues soloing. Uh, we learn, we do it the same way. We learn a lick that someone teaches us or that we learn from a song or whatever, or we come up on our own. And then now we add that to our vocabulary by putting it in a sentence, a solo. So here's the first one. It's the high E, which remember is the root. We're just going da 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 And then with the ring finger, I'm going to hit that third fret of the high E and kind of, if I can dig in a little bit and give the string a little nudge, it sounds like this. Now watch if I climb up the scale into the lid. So the one other phrase, and then I just want you to practice the scale, is doing the same lick on the B string. Thanks for hanging out with me. I really appreciate uh, the support so much. Uh, thank you for subscribing to this YouTube channel of mine. And also, uh, if there's a lesson you'd like to see me do, a technique or a song that you'd like to learn, go ahead and like this video and leave it in the comments below and I'll check it out. Uh, and I just really want to say thank you for all your support. Uh, and I can't wait to see you again in another video real soon. So until then, take care.